fucked. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Yeah, the flashlight's not gonna stop the fucking car from trying to kill me. Cover a little bit or something. Fuck. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. I'm guessing Alex Casey is one of his uh, fictional characters. Yeah! Action hero. This looks like a trap. some sort of ammo please Ah fuck Thanks for clearing the way dickhead the tree, bitch. Ah, come on! What the hell? Safe haven? What do you mean safe haven? You won't let me in, damn it! Oh, I need to find the fucking key. Are you serious? I'm kind of stuck here. Oh my god. The rock, bitch. Oh, fuck. Can you fucking like run to save your life, buddy? Holy shit. kind of just sit here and do this, you know? I'm safe. Alright. Outside of writing is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguised. Are you looking at a camera, or are you looking at me? He writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. So 
switch the hunting rifle from my... Yeah, well, I don't got any ammo for it, so... Make sure that everything's loaded. Are those flares or flashbangs? Is this still episode three? It's been going on for a bit. How many episodes are there in this game? I'm having a good time with it, but still. Definitely having a way better time with it than, uh... Hello? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Now listen here, I ain't no right hair, but you better make your ass over here now. Yeah, I'm definitely having way more fun with this than I did with Evil Within. God, playing you, except for that one part in the mansion, right? Where like, the design actually supported how slow the controls were. Fucking... Everything else in that game was like pulling teeth, man. I swear, it it was not fun. Birds. The birds. They're coming for me. Yeah, you stay over there, you little bastards. Whoa! Fuck! <laughs> he just gave up. Wait a minute. Did I pick up? Okay, I do have my uh, Birds. stuff I picked up from the, uh, what do you call it? I don't want to do it until they're away from me. How am I not aiming at you? What the hell? Alright, there we go. That's good. Whoa. Fuck off, you little bastards. Where the fuck am I? Safe from the birds. That's all I know. But I am in the darkness. Isn't this what Shadows of the Dam was supposed to be? I have that game too. I've never played it, but I have it in my collection. But well, wasn't like the early uh, stuff for Shadow of the Dam supposed to be like you carrying a torch and shit like that? Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Thanks for telling me, buddy. It's real dusty in here. I'm getting a lot of flares. Oh wait, I only have three. I thought I had more than that. Look at this battle room. Where you battle. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Oh. Why, well, hello there, good sir. What? Come on, man. All right, all right. Now's the time. I need big guy to get over here fast so I can justify using this. 
Come on, big man. Christ, that was ridiculous. Can't spawn them on top of me in the middle of a cutscene. Okay, I ran in a circle there because I wanted to know if, like, the coffee just gives me, like, a, like, a quick boost of stamina or something, but I don't know what the fuck the coffee's there for. Maybe, like, refill my health or something, but, like, definitely doesn't have to do anything with my running. Holy shit. I'm gonna turn around and check over here real quick. Oh, well, I'm gonna turn around and go down here real quick. Because there's got to be like a page or something down the other way, right? Nope. Okay. I hope when they make Alan Wake 2, right? Or even in control, I hope that I, I can to make my run without this mine shaft in order to go on. having a fucking heart Maybe attack every two seconds. Turn the direction in? Okay, well, it's gonna be like that then. And after this fucking chapter or episode or whatever is over, I'm gonna get up and walk around a bit. I need to stretch my fucking legs. Is that good for me? Am I... Where does that take me? Takes me over there to the other side. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Is anybody else getting like a a feeling of like Silent Hill downpour <laughs> being in here? Oh, I thought I thought it would bring me to the other side. Okay, well fuck it. There we go. That's better. see and then I do this okay that looks fine all right and then we're out of the mines right Excuse me, I just burped a little, despite not having eaten anything in five hours. There we go. Down or up? Now let's go up. Eh, let's go down. Told me to reach the lookout, so I... Maybe I gotta reach the lookout for story purposes, right? Fuck off! I said stop! Burn, bitches.
Now I'm gonna switch the flares because I got a shit ton. Holding on to these flashbangs as long as I can. Because these things are fucking powerful. Am I going to the top of that mountain? Because I've been looking at that mountain the whole entire game, you know? It's like fucking an Uncharted uh, 4 or whatever when you're in the jungle and then, and then fucking Nate's like, finally, we can make it out of here. And I'm like, okay, but what's with that mountain that looks like a fucking dragon skull? Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. What? Lightning flashed behind the windows, cauldron like launch. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Dude was talking about the Anderson brothers earlier, right? We're on the comeback tour. Are those the rockers that uh that someone was talking about earlier? Someone said uh it was one of the pages that we read where it's like everything was fine in the town until the rockers came back and reawakened the evil or some shit like that. Are those the two old guys? Maybe. No, it can't, it can't be the two old guys, can it? There we go. Feel that healing light. If I'm gonna shoot motherfuckers, I gotta be good at it. Gotta make the shot count. How many flares do I have? Nine? You know, I can spend off like three. I'm not wasting my fucking flares on some goddamn crows. Burn, bitches. Come on. Where'd you go? You're almost dead. Oh, come on. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump off now. All right. You know what? Besides, like one flare. Oh fuck. Okay, I was gonna say besides one flare, uh, wasn't really a bad ride on the gondola. Alright. That was fun. But good thing I'm a writer. I got these fucking these instincts. Tell me to dodge out the way. I 
I thought this game would like surround more of like the town, right? Like I mean like the last chapter I will say. Probably oh I gotta get going. Got that good old sound going, you know? Out the way, bitches. I was gonna say, uh, the last chapter or whatever, running from the cops was really nice because it kind of involved the whole entire town and it felt, you know, it felt, it felt like a really good part in the story. I was hoping that the game wouldn't focus too much on Alan himself, you know, like by himself, right? But so far it's still a pretty solid game and I, I'm enjoying myself. I just kind of want this chapter to end so I can get up and like walk around. For a bit, you know, I've been sitting in this chair for a while. Fuck me, are you kidding me? What the hell's going on here? Why are you walking on this? I mean, well, it is unstable, so you would kind of walk, right? But then the wind starts blowing. Guys, you don't want to do this. Ow. That was a mean throw. All right. How about you get off the cliff, buddy? Or die. Either or. I gotta follow the path. I'm assuming I gotta follow the path, you know? Yeah, Papa Bear ain't scared no more, bitch. supposed to hop on down while well, there is a manuscript over there but there was kind of like a little side path over here haha -ha. hello don't mind if I do thank you checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Ah, uh, jeez, boss, I don't know what happened. I was, I was staring at a hot piece of ass, and then I just got distracted, you know, and they just kind of poofed. They're gone, boss. I don't know what happened. Mott's well, the guy that was, like, looking at his wife, right? Some weird-ass rock formation. Oh, wait, it's, all right, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like concrete. rickety ass little bridge I made okay nice little dilapidated house here what's up uh, oh entrance has been bricked off fuck you we are not are you serious oh fuck me Huh? E H R T L. E H. Zane. I miss you, Tom. Wait, the person who's helping me is the is is his boo thing. Did you write this? I curse you, Thomas Zane. Okay.
So is the person who's been helping me is the lady who's like being possessed or whatever, like Thomas's girlfriend? What was her name again? Not Casey. What, what the fuck was her name? The darkness surged towards me, sucking every. Oh, Barbara. Never mind. No, it's not Barbara. Who the fuck is C.H.? Whoever C.H. is, they must have had, like, some sort of relation with Tom. And they hate him, but they're also helping me? Is Tom the monster? No, there's no way Tom can be the monster because he was he was controlled by the monster, right? Bitch. Guys, you you don't want to do this, trust me. Let there be light, motherfucker. Oh, I pressed the dodge button. Kick rocks. What the fuck? There's another guy behind me? Oh, you motherfuckers just keep coming. I got one more flare. Oh, God. fucking flares. I am out of that good ammo. What if I just jumped over here and just ignored it? You know? I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I hope it's the boat. Now, oh, what the hell is I going on here? Now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Okay. Yeah, so I am in his clinic. Like, the real me is in his clinic, right? You mean no get away? Oh, homeboy met read the manuscript and he know he's gonna die. Oh, you're gonna die, buddy. So you don't got my wife, huh? What the f
That would totally kill you. You would be so fucking dead, dude. Chef, you too.